A jellyfish is a single, unisex animal with a jelly-like body and numerous tentacles. They are primitive creatures that have lived in the ocean for 600 million years and have no eyes, nose, ears, brain, or heart. It appears to swim in repetitive motions, but it's very weak, so it mostly just lets the current carry it along. Its main food is plankton and small fish. It grabs its prey with its tentacles, paralyzes it with its venomous sting, eats it in its mouth, and excretes it back into its mouth. Natural enemies include sunfish and sea turtles, which are said to be resistant to jellyfish venom, rendering stinging attacks ineffective. Jellyfish are prolific and ubiquitous in the ocean, making them an important part of the marine ecosystem. Jellyfish have a fluorescent protein in their bodies that gives them a mysterious glow. This protein is a valuable research material in the genetic engineering world. Thousands of jellyfish are caught off the coast of the United States each year and sent to laboratories. The jellyfish's venom is deadly to humans. Of all the sea creatures, jellyfish cause the most casualties. If a swarm of jellyfish shows up, the beach is immediately closed. Each jellyfish's venom varies in strength, with some causing little more than an itch. While others can sting and kill within five hours. Global warming and coastal pollution are driving subtropical jellyfish to South Korea's shores, and the country's fisheries industry has a lot to worry about. It may seem simple enough to catch them all and sell them as food, but out of hundreds of jellyfish species, only four are edible. A gentleman in Antarctica, wearing a black tuxedo. Emperor penguin. They live on the Antarctic Peninsula, where they can shelter from the wind and live on solid ice that is not in danger of breaking up. They live in groups about 18 kilometers from shore, choosing places close to ice cliffs and icebergs to shelter from the wind. The emperor penguin lives up to its name and is the largest species of penguin in existence. They average 110 centimeters in height and weigh between 22 and 45 kilograms. Males are slightly larger than females, but they lose a lot of weight while incubating eggs and raising their chicks. The beak is about 8 centimeters long, and the outer surface of the wings is black, while the rest of the belly and inner surface of the wings are white. It is characterized by a distinct black and white border, with a vivid yellow back and a pale yellow breast. The upper bill is black and the lower bill is pink, orange, or lilac. This variety of body colors has given them the name of the emperor penguin in a tuxedo. When young, however, emperor penguins are covered entirely in silvery gray downy fur, with a black head, ears, chin, and neck and a white face. The emperor penguin can swim up to 11 kilometers per hour and dive to an incredible depth of 533 meters. Their dive time is about 18 minutes. 
Their diet consists of fish from the Southern Ocean, but they also eat crustaceans like krill and mollusks like squid. Emperor penguins are the only animal in Antarctica that overwinters. They form colonies in March and April and lay eggs in May and June, when colonies can range in size from a few dozen penguins to thousands. After the female lays her eggs, she heads out to sea to stock up on food, and the male carries the eggs on his feet. During the two to four months of incubation, the male does not eat anything except snow for hydration. Hundreds of egg-carrying males will circle each other closely and slowly, switching places with those on the outside as their body temperature drops to keep the entire group warm, a process known as huddling. The gestation period is about 64 days. When the chicks hatch, the male penguin feeds them by vomiting the digested food in his stomach. About 10 days after the chick hatches, the female returns to feed it in the same way. From then on, the males and females take turns going out to sea to hunt for food. At 40 to 50 days of age, both parents go out to sea to hunt for food, and the remaining chicks form a group and play huddles. After a year, the entire colony is out at sea. In Antarctica, seals, orcas, and gulls are their natural enemies. Gulls attack eggs and chicks. Once the chicks are furred and large enough to be raised in groups with other chicks, thieving gulls become their biggest enemy. When a chick is attacked, several other adult penguins will rush to its defense, pecking and screaming to repel the gulls. Emperor penguins are highly nurturing animals. If an egg breaks or a chick is lost and freezes to death, the penguin that lost the chick will try to raise it by taking a chick from another penguin. In doing so, however, the eggs are often broken and the chicks that fall to the ground are crushed by the large size of the adult penguins. Even if they do succeed in taking the chick away, the chick's chances of survival are very low. This is because each penguin family has a distinctive call that they share, and chicks and parents communicate by sound, and they may not remember their chick's call or recognize the chick that was taken. If they think a chick is not theirs, they will abandon it and leave. So, there you have it, the Emperor Penguin, Antarctica's national animal. For more animal documentaries, Subscribe to Alpaca World TV.